One stormy night several years ago, an elderly couple entered the lobby of a small hotel in Philadelphia. It was raining heavily and the frail couple were desperate to find warm accommodation for the night. Could you please give us a room for the night? asked the old man speaking to the hotel clerk. The clerk spoke kindly to the couple, explaining that because a large convention was in town for the weekend, they were fully booked, as were all other hotels. Our rooms are all taken, but I just can't allow such a nice couple to go outside in the awful weather at such a late time, said the clerk. Could you accept the offer of my room for the night? asked the clerk kindly. It's not exactly the Ritz, but it will keep you warm and dry and allow you to get a good night's sleep. The couple said they couldn't possibly accept, as they wouldn't think of putting him out. It just would not be right. However, the clerk insisted, so they finally agreed, knowing the alternative was just too hard. The next morning, the man paid his bill for the room and told the clerk, you are the nicest man I have encountered, and you should be a manager of a big hotel. Maybe one day I will build one just for you. The clerk thanked him for his kind words as the couple bid him farewell, and the three of them laughed together at the old man's words. The couple agreed as they drove away that the young clerk was indeed exceptional and would make a fine manager. Two years had passed and the clerk had almost forgotten about the couple when he received a letter in the mail from the man. He reminded the clerk of his kindness on that stormy night and had enclosed an airline ticket, asking him to come and visit them in New York. The elderly man was at the airport to meet him and drove him to the corner of 5th Avenue and 34th Street. He pointed towards a new building there, made of rust-coloured stone with turrets standing majestically towards the sky. That, said the elderly man, is the hotel I have just built for you to manage. The clerk was astounded and said to the older man, you must be joking. The old man chuckled and assured him he was not. His name, it turned out, was William Waldorf Astor and the magnificent building they were standing in front of was the original Waldorf Astoria Hotel. The young clerk, whose name was George C. Bolt, did indeed become its first manager. He had never imagined in his wildest dreams that he would become the manager of one of the world's most glamorous hotels. Don't be afraid to reach out and touch someone's heart. You just never know where it may lead.